Hello everyone, it's the 4th of January today, heading into the first week of the new year. Uh, very challenging times of course, and uh, concerning news coming in from uh, uh, the, the national picture of, uh, uh, of COVID being pretty out of control in certain parts of the country. Um, and, uh, um, uh, and, and we'll just keep an eye on the, um, the advice and, uh, uh, and, and try and respond in the right way to, uh, to the kind of these challenges as we go along. Um, uh, um, let's keep being patient and, uh, and, and gracious uh, as much as possible because these times are difficult. Uh, and do pray for the uh, local GP practices and uh, the um, uh, the hospital and the uh, hospitals in our uh, area in our region um, do pray for the healthcare professionals uh, for the rollout of the vaccine um, uh, and and all those sorts of things um, uh, we need to keep uh, praying for the health and the well-being not only of our uh, local area but to the region uh, and the nation and the nations of the world so let's keep praying uh, like that. Um, uh, I I've been really encouraged this morning seeing uh, the, the way in which Restore is connecting with people uh, and, um, uh, and, and, and really really good relationships being formed uh, in, a, in a time of distance uh, it seems like um, the distance between people and God is actually becoming less and, and that's really encouraging. Uh, there are so many great opportunities uh, to, uh, to share the hope that we have. Uh, and uh, uh, you know I'm reminded um, of, the, of that little passage in Hosea, uh, I think it is, where um, uh, it talks about the valley of Achor being the door of hope acor means trouble and there's something about it, it's it, god is the only one who in trouble can create doors of hope uh, and uh, and that's what we're seeing um, and i think it's really encouraging uh, that we're seeing that and i wanted to uh, just throw this out as an encouragement to you um, uh, keep uh, uh, keep keep praying uh, keep connecting with each other uh, and um, uh, and let's let's be open to the God of renewal, renewing us, so that as we walk through the doors of hope that He has opened up to us in this time of trouble, we will see others, many many others, uh, meeting that same God of hope and coming to know Him and living their lives with Him and for Him.